It is manhood hour. I'm taking your phone calls at 888-775-3773, 888-77-JESSE. I am Skyping with Yoni Wolf. He is a songwriter, producer, and artist based in Cincinnati, Ohio. His main music group is called Why? With a question mark. James, my producer, believed that Yoni is an interesting person, and he talked to me about, uh, uh, Yoni talks a lot about his family on his podcast there, uh, his belief, music, and emotions. So I wanted to talk to Yoni, Yoni to see what's going on. Yoni, good morning, sir. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. So I saw your 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 dog there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of He's dog is that? Right what kind of dog is that? He's a Chinese crested. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. well, thank you for bringing your dog on too. Uh, he just likes to sit on my lap. He just he just gets antsy if he's if he's uh, alone. He just you know, <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. Yeah. Like, but like most of us, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, a lot of people are sad. Are you a sad person, Yoni? Oh no, I I wouldn't say that. Are no. you lonely? You know, I I go through times of loneliness for sure. I, I think like anybody does. Uh, but as as I get older, I'm learning how to uh, ex- accept the uh, the time that I'm that I'm uh, solitary and and uh, and enjoy it. So I spend a lot of time by myself as a as a as an artist, as a musician, you know, as a writer. That's kind of a prerequisite, you know, I think uh, anybody in the arts, you know, you're going to spend some alone time. You're going to you're going to have to work on some things uh, by yourself. You're going to have to work some things out yourself. So, uh, you know, I, I, it's there's been a, many years of, of lots of that. And and uh, p- part of it's comfortable, you know, uh, part of it can be lonely but but uh you know i think through uh sort of uh i don't know acceptance it's it can be a, a very uh, a very potent thing as well when, when you're, you you're just you could just tune in and 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 uh vibe with with uh with the source with the creator or whatever you want to call it and kind of tune into that and you you really are never alone i mean you know when you are lonely what are you lonely for or who are you lonely for uh i i guess there's a certain um a a a certain uh you know social thing or camaraderie that 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 us as that as a species um you know, are, 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 are prone towards or that, that we do need, you know, I mean, you, you can't be alone 24 seven. Right. Um, I think, uh, you know, we, we as a species are, are made to, to be social. We, we are more powerful together than we are, uh, solitary. That said, sometimes, you know, one needs to go to the mountaintop, you know what I mean? By <laughs> oneself and return to the, 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 so let me ask, are you lonely at times for other people or for a woman or what? Uh, wow. This just took a real personal turn, but that's fine. That's fine. I, I'm in, I like that, Jesse. I like that. Um, <laughs> it, I, I think, you know, sure. From time, from time to time that can happen. But I guess, I guess when I do feel, uh, and I just talked about this with my therapist last week or something that which well I never see. I, I just randomly went to see him. Um but uh yeah, I sometimes have an idea, I guess. Of, when you say yes, are you saying yes you're lonely for a woman or are you saying yes you're lonely for other people? Are you, well are, let me qu- let me qualify. I guess I guess I ha- I have this this thing in me sometimes which is a 
um, it's hard to explain because it's a very abstract thought, but uh, I'll try to. It's 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 something like a like a like like the feeling of nostalgia, okay? Right. But instead of for the past, for a possible future, if that makes sense. And that may be, it may be some kind of um, intuition sitting within me that that I can't quite understand or realize with my, uh, you know, the the tiny part of my brain that I actually use. So you know, let me let me just ask this: uh, Give me a yes or no. Is it for a woman when you're lonely? Are you? Oh, lonely? I'm not a black and white thinker, so I, I you, I'm sorry. You you're not going to really get yeses and noes from me. But I, just I'm, for I'm, this, I'm, and then you can give me the the wordy stuff. But are you when you are lonely? Are you lonely for a woman? Yes or no? And then you can do the explanation thing. Uh, no, probably not that exact. I mean, so I have been. That has been the case. You know, I'm kind of seeing somebody right now. So oh, okay. But uh, that 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 has been the case. Yeah, at times. Yeah. And so now that you're seeing a woman, you're not lonely for a woman because you have one. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't have somebody, you know what I mean? I I I I spend time with somebody, you know. Uh I I uh what about you? What about me what? I I do, do you get lonely? Are you lonely for I, a woman? Do you have do you have someone in your life? I am never lonely for anybody or anything. Okay. I have complete peace. How did how did you achieve that, or how how do you achieve that in 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 action? Well, I achieved it by, and I I can't really take credit for it. But what happened was, I was the anger that I had within my soul was taken away from me, and once the anger was taken away, peace came. And so, it, and with with the peace, I I don't feel that I'm lacking anything or anyone. Right. And I, and I do feel that a lot of times, you know, there, there are, you know, there are times when, when I, when I do feel an antsiness, you know, and, and that could be described as, I don't want to say loneliness, but, but, you know, like I said, what caused you to feel that way at times? Well, let me explain this, this feeling of, of, future nostalgia. So, you know, I, I, I will sometimes have a warm feeling about something that has not happened. Um, and almost like a memory, but almost like a fantasy, but a memory. Uh, and, and, and it sort of, it'll go towards, uh, you know, if like it, the idea of like, you know, you see like one of those huge, like, uh, Greek or Italian or Mediterranean families hanging out at a, at a, uh, at a, at like a big uh, Tuscan uh, country house or something, and eating big meals together, and you know something like a like a, I mean that's that's like a concrete uh, um, vi uh, visual of a feeling that's not visual or concrete like that, but uh, something like like lots of family around. And kids and you know stuff like that and may maybe that means i'm getting to a certain uh age where that's appropriate you know i don't so know do you, but, you wish to get married and have a family one day um you know i think so i i think there's something about that that definitely uh is is appealing like i'm saying um and yeah I think so. I, are you are you are you married yourself with kids or? I have uh, kids, but not married. I I I, I sin and had my son out of wedlock, and uh, when I was very young, eighteen years old, eighteen nineteen. But, oh wow! Uh, but I've not committed that sin again. Um, let me ask. Uh, By that sin, you just mean out you of just wedlock, mean sex out of out of marriage, right? Yeah. Do you, um, let me ask, do you consider your music weird? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, 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 I just, I, you know, what does that word mean really? I, I mean, I, I think that, no, no, in, in, in this, I, I, 
if you strip everything down and get rid of all the posturing and the surface um, societal norms and the way that we do things, you know, all those constructs are, are, are fabricated. All that stuff is manufactured. All that stuff is um, arbitrary and developed through just uh, – little human tweaks that that are that are uh just you know random and and is and, is your music an expression of what's going on on the inside of you is it an outward expression of what's happening on the inside of you it is a reflection and a trans a transmitting of uh things that are running through me ideally um so but but through okay let me take a break <laughs> yes sir all right 888-775-3773 back in a moment i just want to warn you america as, as i've been doing for the last 25 years our battle is a spiritual battle it's a warfare between good and evil right versus wrong It's time to wake up and deal with life in a spiritual manner, your personal life and your public life, because the beginning of salvation starts with you. Everything starts within you. And if you can deal with you, if you could see yourself in the right way and not be mad about seeing yourself, you will be able to overcome, and then you can deal with the world. You can absolutely deal with the world. And that's why God said to bring every thought into captivity. God said, my children shall know and recognize my voice. So I'm talking to or Skyping with Yoni Wolf. And uh, he's a music, he's a songwriter, producer, and artist based out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Yoni, um, your main band is called Why, with a question mark. Why is that? Uh, Well, uh, the name was uh, derived, I liked the word, you know, at the time, you know, when I came up with the word, I was like 17, 18, I think. And, um, it was my uh, my graffiti name, okay, back then. And then when I started rapping, um, you know, you have to come up with a rap name. Uh, you know, at that time, nowadays you can be Kendrick Lamar or, or uh, you know, you can just use your normal name. But um, You were a tagger? Time, were you a tagger at one point? Uh, yes, a graffiti artist. Yes, I was. Uh, so you would go around and write on people's, mess up people's buildings with that, with that graffiti stuff? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, there, there, there was a certain, <laughs> there was a certain ethic to it. You know, you didn't want to just go, um, you know, the, there was certain kind of stuff you were, you know, it, it was understood that was okay to write on and certain stuff that, you know, you wanted to leave alone. But yeah. It, you know, I'm not saying it was always the most tasteful thing. Are you Jewish? Uh, and, uh, yeah, that was a non sequitur, but yes, sir, I am. I'm, <laughs> yes. Okay. So you also, uh, when you were a part of this, I guess, rap group, I read that, uh, let's see here, you, uh, a white boy rap, oh, you were part of a white boy rap group called Cloud Dead, <laughs> and uh, with capital letters, D-E-A-D. And dead. Why? Why was? Why did? It, why so weird? Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, I don't think we advertised as a white boy rap group, um, you know. But yeah, that could be a description of us. But you know, sort of pejorative. But yeah, um, but yeah, we. we uh, why so weird? I, you know, that was a, a sort of an absurdist project, I would say, in a way. Um, you know, we were just having fun with it. We were learning how to, 
how to do the craft and, uh, you know, enjoying um, the, the creative process. The, the name that name, you know, was came uh, was was derived from a knock knock joke that my friend's three year old sister told him one time. Uh, she just said, knock, knock. He said, who's there? She said, cloud. He said, cloud who? She said, cloud dead. And uh, that's where that name came from. So that that sort of encapsulates the, the uh, sorry, I'm trying to put this dog down here. That it sort of encapsulates the, the, the essence of that group. Okay. So Why me... so weird? But let me go back. Let me go back, Jesse, to what I was saying before about social constructs and, and what is weird. I don't think what I do is any more weird than, uh, you know, a- any other kind of uh, arts that 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 people make. There's just because people may derive uh, a lot of their their creative push through uh, the history of what other people have already done, as opposed to trying to pull from something, you know, m- m- maybe more uh, uh, n- newer or or different doesn't mean that it's less weird. So, you know, you have uh, the majority of pop music now uh and you can you can you can put rap music nowadays in that category uh that is basically like usual there's like two different uh me, there are two, di- two different this. themes to that music. Let me finish. There are two different themes to that music. It's usually <laughs> like money worship or it's it's uh you know, relationships, se- uh, sex music, or something like that. Right. And, and you know, that's not what I do. That you know, what what is? I mean, sex music that makes sense to me evolutionarily. Uh, uh, you know. Let me do this because of time, Yarny. Um, yes, sir. Uh, this Sorry, is, I'm used to the long form thing. I Sorry. know. This is manhood hour, and uh, time is going by fast on this radio show here. But gotcha. let me ask: What is a man? Oh well, I'm. I mean that. There are many different definitions of that, but you could. What you do know, you say it is? Let me first ask: Are you a real man? Not body part man, but real man. Are you a real man? Um, you know, I, I think so in some respects. In, in other respects, you know, I don't fix cars. Uh, so if you <laughs> want to go back to that kind of paradigm or stereotype, so what is a man? You know, I, I I don't I don't draw that distinction in the same way. I, I feel like uh, a, a good human is someone that has spent some time with themselves and and ha- like I, I you said it on an ad just a minute ago, and I thought that was pretty pretty uh, poignant. Uh, something about sort of when you know you can see yourself and settle in, and you know I'm I'm misquoting you, but. Uh, I think that that's that's something, you know, you, you've spent enough hours with yourself and not and not with yourself, with your with your cell phone or with or with, you know, um, the TV or something like that. But, you know, you really are able to to understand what you're what you're about. I think that's that's something about what it is. So are you saying that a, a real man is a male who spend time with himself and understand what he's all about? Yeah, I, th- I think I think being a, a I, and I don't I don't subscribe to that kind of language a real man or that kind of those kind of why not you know, because because a, a well I don't know I think any anyone is is a real man but I I think a transgender male is not a real man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's do you agree? Yeah, sure, it's different. It's a different sort of person, but it's not but, a man. Well, whatever you know, that's all. Do you all agree language. with me or disagree? <laughs> um, I, you know, if 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 they want to be a man, they're no, a man. No, I'm asking I, you. Do you do you see them as a man, a transgender male, as right. a man? They may not be a body part man, like you said, but they can be a man in their in their soul. Yeah, sure. How can they be a man in their soul if they're acting like a woman or desire to be a woman? Oh, I see. You're saying you're saying male to female transgender. Even before, uh, no. They... Well, I would say I would say then that they are they are more a woman if they're if they have if they're a woman in their soul. Let me ask. Years ago, you hinted that you have been you've been to church a thousand times. You have seen the seven seas, but you wonder where the fulfillment 
to emptiness. Where is the fulfillment to emptiness? Did you ever find the fulfillment to emptiness? I, I said this. Well, um, I, I I don't remember saying that, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I I, I would like say I I would say that that I have dealt with that a lot in my life, um, and and I have I have found some ways to uh, be a quote unquote man. You know, I, I have, I have learned to, to, uh, to settle in a bit and accept whatever is going on here. Cause we don't, none of us know, you can say, you know, what's happening here. And, and, you know, you, you may have a, a, a way of thinking that's more concrete than mine. So let me but ask, you really don't so know, but do you, you still, really don't know what's happening. Do you still have that emptiness at times? Sure. Every everyone, I believe everyone struggles with with feeling that the feeling is the void. And I don't want to even say struggle because that's part of that's part of life. That's part of, t you know, tapping. Why? In. Like there's a lot of why do you have that emptiness at times when I come back? I want to know okay. why do you have that emptiness at time? What causes it? 888-775-3773. We'll take some calls as well. Back in a moment. Follow me on Twitter at JLP Talk, at JLP Talk. I'm going to get to your calls in just a minute here, folks. 888-775-3773. Yanni Wolf is with me. Yanni, let me ask. Uh, Yoni, I mean. I'm sorry, Yanni. Yoni. That's okay. Yeah, I apologize. It happens all the time. I know. Um, what causes you to feel empty at times? Oh, I think that is a... I think that's a natural state that is is part of our makeup uh, because of the uh, the lack of total understanding that we have. You know, we get, we can only understand stand so so uh, so many layers deep and so many layers out from but, where we're at. But you do realize it's an abnormal state of being, right? No, I don't. I don't believe that. I, be, I believe that. There are times when we go into a, a state of void or emptiness um, that can feel sort of disorienting and, and maybe a, even a little sad at times. But I think that there's an acceptance you have to have surrounding that. And then you come out of that with a, a greater understanding. I, I believe it's, it's similar to a mountaintop experience. No, uh, that's uh, an abnormal emptiness. It's an abnormal state of being. And you're, you're right. saying a, that you're a whole lot that, of what? people do feel that way, but it's an abnormal state of being. It's not the way human beings should be. Um, what does what, it mean? Why, why do you believe human beings should be, you know, why do you believe they should be how you believe they should be? I mean, you, what do you mean it's abnormal? I, I believe that. Because there's no peace and emptiness. Oh, no, that quite quite the contrary, my friend. There, there, there is much peace and emptiness. I believe. Where's the peace in that? When you feel empty and a void, like something is missing, you feel happy. You feel no, peaceful. No, I'm not saying you're. I'm not saying you, you feel you, peaceful. You, I'm not saying you have to feel something's missing. I believe there is peace in accepting the emptiness feeling. I believe that uh, if you let go and let God, so to speak. Um, that there is much peace in that. And that, that to me is accept part of that is accepting uh, a certain emptiness that you may feel at times and you may be an empty vessel for God. No, and that's not the kind of emptiness he wants you to be. He came that you may be fulfilled. But let me ask, what does it mean to be Jewish, to be a Jew to you? What does that mean to you to be a Jew? Uh, it means that my blood comes eventually, you know, from Moses or whatever, whoever, you know, Abraham, you know, Isaac, whatever, <laughs> et cetera, whatever. et cetera. That's so, all. Oh, so to you, it's just a blood thing only. Well, that, I mean, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be diminutive. There's a great history there. Uh, and, you know, my, my people are the people that, 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 that wrote, you know, the, the big book and all that stuff. Right. Uh, 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 do you believe in God? No, I I don't mean to be diminutive about that. Yes, sir. You believe in God? Yes, yes. <laughs> but you're just not 
into the Jewish aspect of it? I I am not, you know, I, I grew up Messianic Jewish, which are Jewish people that believe in Jesus. Uh, they, they keep the faith on both ends. Um, my father is a Messianic rabbi. Um, you know, I, 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 I grew up steeped in, in that. Uh, it's sort of like evangelical Christianity, but also sort of like Orthodox Judaism, all, all sort of meshed together. So Messianic uh, Jews I, believe in Jesus. You believe in Jesus? Uh, I, I believe in Jesus. I, I, I don't believe. Uh, I am not a Christian. Okay. You, right, because you're but, Jewish. No, no, not because I'm Jewish. My parents are Christian and Jewish. Oh, okay. You can so be that, both. That's what I'm saying. You can be both. You can be both. Why? But, why is it that you're not a Christian if you believe in Jesus? Then. I mean, to say believe in Jesus, I believe Jesus was a man who lived a couple thousand years ago, and I believe that he was tapped in to to God. I believe I don't necessarily. I believe we are all the sons and daughters of God. I I I, I don't believe uh, in you know sort of the idea of of a savior or or a messiah character necessarily in that way. So do you believe, do believe those who have I, not been born again of God? Are still sons and daughters of God? Yes. And why? How is that? I don't believe. I don't know. The concept of being born again of God to me is a similar concept to, in, in the way that I think about it, is a similar concept to to when you say a real man or a real or a real woman, someone who has has put in the time and and steeped and steeped with the source with the Creator. Um, whatever that is, because I don't know, I don't profess to understand what that is. You may, you may, and and for you it may be. So as a, a as a concept. Jewish, for me it's not. As a Jewish believer of Jesus, you don't believe him to be your savior. I I am not I am not Jewish in religion. I am not Christian in religion. I don't have a, a religion. I don't subscribe to that. I I believe that that. Uh, you know, through through any religion, you know, one can uh, uh, achieve a, a closeness with God um, and one can see God through that lens. But I personally have trouble subscribing um, to any one system in that in that way. Why is that? Uh, because I see the flaws in each of them. If I was to prescribe to any one of those systems, it would be deep on the mystical side of them, uh, uh, discarding all that other junk that what? I that I don't want to have built up. Because you know, where if you is go the back, flaw? Where is the flaw of believing in Jesus as your savior? I don't. I don't believe that's a flaw. That's a lens. Where is the flaw or, in Christianity? There are many flaws in the system of Christianity as it is today give me and as an example. it has been give me throughout one, time. Give me one example. Uh, well, I mean, uh, how about the, the, uh, the Crusades? The, the Christians who were fighting, who was fighting off the uh, Muslims? Yeah. What's wrong with fight, defending yourself? Where's the flaw? In no, that? that's not that one. Come on, go back through history, Jesse. They would go have been destroyed by the Muslim had not they defended themselves. Nah, they, they, they were. Those, those were the, the, the same crusades, thing happening today. But I don't want to get into were, that. Were I don't want to. I don't want to get into that because of time here. I do want yeah. to know: Did you grow up close to your father? Yes, sir. And, and your mother? Yes. Who were you closest to, your father or mother? Uh, both in different ways. 888-7753-773. We're coming back to the phones. Okay, folks, welcome back. 
Do you you want to give your tell, your album out? Tell the folks how to get your album. Sure. That that what you were just playing right there was a track off of an album called Testarossa, which I I did uh, it, it, through a group called Yoni and Getty, which is me and my friend Saren Getty. So uh, you can find that uh, anywhere. It comes out May six. You'll find it anywhere you get uh, albums. Uh, you can go, the label is Joyful Noise Recordings, so you can go to their website, joyfulnoiserecordings.com, maybe, I don't know, Google it. Yeah, dot and, com. Uh, and buy it, and you can buy it there as well. Let's go to Judy out of North Carolina. Judy, thanks for calling and thanks for holding. You're on the air. With hey, Yoni. Jesse, can, can you hear me? My phone is broken a little bit. No, I totally hear you. coming across clear. Okay. So I was just calling because of the hypocrisy of the boycotting because the Christians who boycotted the wedding, um, you know, for the making the cake for the gay wedding, they were sued and they, their businesses were ruined. they were put out of business, but all the rock stars and businesses that are boycotting North Carolina and other places, you know, because they're morally objecting to the HB2 law, they're celebrated for that. It's hypocrisy. They're boycotting on their belief, just like, uh, hold on, Judy, do me a favor. Hold on, do not hang up. This is my final segment with Yoni. What I want to do is finish up with him, and I'll come back to you on this. It's off topic right now. But hold on, do not hang up. Let's go to Bessie out of Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. Bessie, you're on with Yoni. Great. Hey, Yoni. I, first, I want to uh, congratulate you for keeping a Hebrew name. That's a t- typically Hebrew name. Was that your, your um, name that your parents gave you? Uh, well, my my Christian name is Jonathan. My 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 government name is Jonathan. Uh, but yeah, everyone always called me Yoni since I was born. Yeah. Okay, so I was listening to what you say. I find you to be a very interesting young man. I didn't catch everything, but did you say that one of your parents was Christian and one was Jewish? I didn't quite get that. Both are Jewish. Both are Christian. They they you know they they are Messianic Jews. So uh, they are Jewish people. Who believe in Jesus as as the Jewish Messiah? Okay, that I understand. So I hope they've explained to you that Messianic Jews, you know, as long as they were uh, Jews by birth, they are still Jews, of course. Right. Which means you are a Jew. Okay. So may I ask this: what what beliefs do you hold? I'm just really curious about younger people. Uh, that is my only motivation here. I might not be I, I as younger as you think, but yeah. How old are yeah, you? I, I'm, I'm, I'll me? be 37 on Saturday. Oh, happy oh, early okay. birthday! Oh, you sound like so. You sound much younger. Okay, good, good for I'm you. I'm just hip. So, I'm just hip, Bessie. <laughs> you're you're very hip. You're very hip. Um, Yoni, do you have a family of your own? Uh, I don't have a wife and kids, if that's what you mean. Yeah, so I have a question, a dumb question, and I'm just trying to get at something here. If and when you marry, do you, have you given thought as to how important Judaism would be in your life, and do you think you too would adopt uh, the Messianic view? Does it sit well with you now? Right. Uh, I, I don't, like I said before to Jesse, I, I don't believe that uh, that I will. I mean, I, now I, I don't subscribe to a religion in that way and i don't believe okay. that i would if i just because i had kids i believe that i would probably raise them you know uh with the understanding that they can't understand everything you know that there's that we, <laughs> that we never will we're not you know we may evolve to that point in thousands of years right where we really understand what's going on here we don't yet we don't yet and why should i try you know i i and I am not that, taking anything away from religion. I think religion has been and and will continue to be, like I said, that lens through which we can see the divine, so we can see the source. But I don't feel that that I need that. And something about just you know personally, something about the residue that all those religions carry with them. You know, mm-hmm. as you know, the, with Christianity, you have you have the the Crusades, you have the Spanish Inquisition, you have the, mm-hmm. the, the hypocrisy and, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, 
are you, you are it? you agnostic now? Crookedness of the Catholic Church throughout throughout the, the middle history and all that. You know, I, I don't I don't want to put myself in that. That said, I do believe well, that Jesus can be a way to 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 come to Yoni, you know, let to me ask. The source. Let, let me ask. Are you agnostic? I'm not a black and white thinker. I don't put names on things. I, I just I'm just telling you what I. But think you about. have a name. I, I'm not. I don't want to put myself in in a box like that. But you I, have I a name just, of your we group. Can just wax philosophically about about how I think. That's all. Um. So okay, I get Jesse. What I the point I wanted to get to him was I, you're a fantastic young man, and I see an opportunity for you that I think you haven't explored yet, and that's my real real point. I think that you, you've got a rich heritage in Judaism, and of course I'm yeah. saying that as another Jew, not trying to force you into anything, but I would say this, Yoni, we do have the Torah, the first five books of Moses, and they are a blueprint for life. So when I hear someone say, we really don't know what's going on in this world, and who really knows, we really do know. And you are a very blessed young man. Sir, you're very blessed to have been born a Jew, and I can see you being a beacon of light even through your music. So I just ask you to think about what I said and know that God gives us each a purpose. He's given you yours, and think about how you might uh, gain more knowledge of your own background and utilize that through your music. Thank you, Bessie. Give it a, a little bit of that, thought. Bessie. All right. Thank you, Bessie. I, I got it right. Thank I, you. I do. I don't disagree with what she just said. I I, 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 I feel all that. And, um, you know, I, I just, you know, if, and if probably if I was to, to come to a religion and, and, and sort of see, see God through that lens, it probably would be Judaism just because of my blood. Because why not? Back in a moment. Come out of nowhere and into my life. Yoni Wolf is with me. Yoni, I want to just squeeze in another call, but it sounds like, before I go to the caller, you saw, it, it sounds as though you have judged some of the Christians and some of the Jews, and as a result of judging them, you have become, you have become like them, and now you, you are blaming the, the weakness of some of those people on religion, and you've turned away from religion, but Christianity and or Judaism had nothing to do with the weakness of the people who are part of those religions. And so it, it's, you have now become, you've been judged, but now you've become a judger. No, no, I'm not judging anyone. Yes, you are. I, I'm just, no, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm simply looking through the history and feeling like um, I don't necessarily need to uh, use use one of those names to, to uh but looking through the history has caused you to judge, judge, and that's why you decided not to call. Well, but let me tell you, I, I'm sorry because I got to get to a call here. We, that's fine. We have three minutes left. I have you back to defend that. Bob, okay. go to you're gonna love this. Bob, go to guy out of Los Angeles. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Jesse. Yes. Um, your guest name again? Yoni. Downey. Oh, Yoni. Yoni. Oh, okay. Um, Yoni. Um, Don't worry about the name. Just get to your question. Yeah, sorry. Um, thank you for taking my call. Uh, Yoni, Jesse's hit it right on the mark. Instead of looking at the beauty of the champions of Christianity and the champions of Judaism, you tend to look at the Judases of Christianity and the, let's see, what's what some of the traitors of, uh, of Moses. But you tend to look at that and then judge your religion off of that. Let me put your mind to rest. The people who know Jesus, Jesus already knows them before the foundation of the earth. You're just going through a mental exercise that you think you're picking and you're choosing and you're doing this. No, God already put into his people, like Jesus said, Jesus let Judas do his thing and betray him. Jesus knew Judas would betray him from the beginning. So your little pride about, oh, I'm picking my religion and I'm making sense of all this and stuff, it's not true. What it is 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 the the people who who know Jesus. Jesus knows them. He said, "I know my sheep, and my sheep know me." You only real fast response, if you like. Uh, okay. I I I I uh. I I'm not picking and choosing. I, I'm I'm just living my life. That's all. 
Thank you, Baba Gota Gayoni. It's been fun talking to you, man. Thank you. Uh, you as well, Jesse. Thank you so much for having me. All right, buddy. Thank you folks for tuning in and calling in. Have a, have a good day. Oh, it's my pleasure. So I saw your your, your dog there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of He's dog is that? Right what kind of dog is that? He's a Chinese crested. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. well, thank you for bringing your dog on too. Uh, he just likes to sit on my lap. He just he just gets antsy if he's if he's uh, alone. He just you know, <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. Yeah. Like, but like most of us, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, a lot of people are sad. Are you a sad person, Yoni? Oh no, I I wouldn't say that. Are um, you lonely? You know, I I go through times of loneliness for sure. I, I think like anybody does, uh, but. As as I get older, I'm learning how to uh, ex- accept the uh, the time that I'm that I'm uh, solitary and and uh, and enjoy it. So I spend a lot of time by myself as a as a as an artist, as a musician, you know, as a writer. That's kind of a prerequisite, you know. I think uh, anybody in the arts, you know, you're gonna spend some alone time. You're gonna you're gonna have to work on some things. Uh, by yourself, you're gonna have to work some things out yourself. So uh, you know, I, I, it's there's been a, many years of of lots of that, and and uh, p- part of it's comfortable, you know. Uh, part of it can be lonely, but but uh, you know, I think through uh, sort of. Uh, I don't know. Acceptance, it's it can be a, a very uh, a very potent thing as well. When, when you you just you could just tune in and 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 uh, vibe with with uh, with the source, with the creator, or whatever you want to call it, and kind of tune into that. And you you really are never alone. I mean, you know, when you are lonely, what are you lonely for, or who are you lonely for? Uh I guess there's a certain um, a, a, a certain uh, you know social thing or camaraderie that 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 us as a, that as a species um, you know are, are are prone towards or that that we do need you know I mean you, you can't be alone twenty four seven right um, I think. Uh, you know, we we as a species are are made to to be social. We we are more powerful together than we are uh, solitary. That said, sometimes you know one needs to go to the mountaintop. You know what I mean? By what? oneself and return to the the the. So let me ask: Are you lonely at times for other people or for a woman or what? Uh. Wow, this just took a real personal turn, but that's fine. That's fine. I, I'm in. I like that, Jesse. I like that. Um, <laughs> it, I, I think you know, sure. From time from time to time, that can happen. But I guess I guess when I do feel, uh, and I just talked about this with my therapist last week or something that which well, I never see. I, I just randomly went to see him. Um, but uh, yeah. I sometimes have an idea, I guess. When of, you say yes, are you saying yes, you're lonely for a woman, or are you saying yes, you're lonely for other people? Uh, you, well, uh, let me qu- let me qualify. I guess I guess I ha- I have this this thing in me sometimes, which is a um, it's hard to explain because it's a very abstract thought, but. Uh, I'll try to. It's 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 something like a like a like like the feeling of nostalgia, okay. Right. But instead of for the past, for a possible future, if that makes sense. And that may be, it may be some kind of um, intuition sitting within me that that I can't quite understand or realize with my. Uh, you know. It is manhood our. Big and bad and 
Uh, I'm taking your phone calls at 888-775-3773, 888-77-JESSE. I am Skyping with Yoni Wolf. He is a songwriter, producer, and artist based in Cincinnati, Ohio. His main music group is called Why? With a question mark. James, my producer, believed that Yoni is an interesting person, and he talked to me about, uh, uh, Yoni talks a lot about his family on his podcast there, uh, his belief, music, and emotions. So I wanted to talk to Yoni, Yoni to see what's going on. Yoni, good morning, sir. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. 